Hello, welcome to the beginning tutorial on Adobe Illustrator. Today we're going to be learning some of the basic ins and outs of Illustrator. So the first thing that you need to do is open up your Illustrator program. On a Macintosh computer you can just press command space and then start typing Illustrator. You will find that it shows up and you can press enter. Once you have it open, go to File and New. If you already have an existing document, you can go to Open. But for our purposes, we're going to start with New. Once you have the dialog box, there's a lot here which we're not going to talk about at this exact moment. So go ahead and title your piece Elements of Design. We are going to talk about artboards later, so you can keep that in mind. Uh, but for now, leave the rest of this alone. So this is your open window. We're going to talk briefly about all the different parts of Illustrator before we jump into exploring the element of design line. So this is your open window. Out here is the gray space, and the document is where you actually will do your work, that white space. If you have more than one document open, then it will show up in these tabs up here. I have two documents open right now. But right now we're just going to work on the Elements of Design document. Other parts of the screen would be your toolbox where your tools are held. A few of these ones we want to talk about specifically. We're going to be using the Move tool, that is the black arrow. The Type tool, Line, and Pen tool. Those will be the ones that we're going to go over today. On the other side of the screen, you have the palette, the floating palette, perhaps you might hear it called. If the other side was the toolbox and this is the palette, then you can think of it as holding the paint or holding the stroke size or layers is going to be important. That's something that you use in your documents. A few of these other ones we will talk about later, but we're not going to dive into them right now. Now we're going to talk about rulers. You can get your rulers by doing Command R, and they will pop up on the top and the sides of your screen. You could also go to View and then Rulers. That would be the same thing. The rulers are very important for your document to help you organize and they are right now measured in something kind of foreign called points. Uh, if you want to change that, you can go down to inches. There are a lot of options here, but what you probably know are inches. So go ahead and change that. And you can see that it changes both the top and the side of your screen. Right now you can only see 0, 2, 4, and 6. So if you wanted to see more, you can zoom in as I do so. You see that the ruler becomes more defined. So I can see half inches, I can see fourth inches. You can do that by pressing Alt and scrolling with your mouse. What we want to do is to make a guide on the one inch mark and I can click at the top here and drag down until you see my guide on the one across the side of the screen. And this guide goes all the way across. So no matter how many documents I put on this specific line, they will all be aligned one inch from the top. 